Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 of the Piddlemouth Coast series. Today we are down near, oh flipping it, what's the place called? Fairpont, we're down near Fairpont. I thought it was Avonbridge for a second but that's, uh, that's somewhere else. Where's Avonbridge? I don't know, it's not important. Right, we are down at Fairpont today and in the last episode we put this nice little, uh, nice little tram line in. Well it's not really a tram line is it? It could be a tram train. Uh, it's going to be a little electric multiple unit branch line which is going to join on, fly up here and uh, just basically hop between Faircombe and uh, Fairpont. And uh, yeah, hopefully that should be a fairly lucrative line. We've not got any sort of passenger service other than these buses running between the two which are obviously uh, they take quite a long time to get there so what we'll do is uh, we've done a bit of electrification because obviously it's a brand new line in 2008 so i thought we could uh, i know people keep yelling at me for not using electric trains uh, we'll pop you in there and there so i thought you know what it's a brand new line we'll uh, we'll absolutely do this we'll absolutely do this so uh, let's get a train running and then we can connect everything there we go, so you're going from Faircombe Central to Fairpont Riverside. Brilliant, and that will be the Fairpont, Fairport, Fairpont to Faircombe Shuttle. Brilliant. Okay, I think we'll probably only need one train, I can't imagine it being that busy, but obviously we've got, uh, we've got the option to expand should we need to. What's this doing in here? What are you there for? Um... Okay, random train. Does anyone know why that's in the depot? I mean, I don't dispute for one second. I'll have bought it for something and forgotten to put it out. Hang on, vehicle. Uh, let's go into trains. Nope, that's road vehicle. Trains. Right, if we move you up there. We have a lot of trains, don't we, really? Uh, Voyagers. Yeah, more Voyagers. No, right, okay, so you are probably on the what what's this temple machines oh well hang on temple machine oh well do you know what let's stick another one on the temple machines train i mean you're in the middle of these two and these are both on that line so i imagine that's what you're meant to be on um you're in very good condition the others are in bad condition simply because you've been sat in the depot all this time right let's uh, let's pop the maintenance to very high on them because we won't be changing them i don't think for the rest of the series now we've got 66s and they are of course our main workhorse when it comes to freight right now oh hang on what's happening here he's flying through this chap or is this a steel mill oh no he's gonna come flying in Look at that. Isn't it good when you've got things running in parallel with each other? That's absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice. Oh, Ewell's Cargo Cares here to uh, to take the goods. Oh, is something else coming in from the opposite end? This uh, this mod. Well, it's not really a mod, is it? It's uh, this game update where everything can pick its own platform. It's absolutely brilliant. Are you going to... You're going to Faircombe. Is this Faircombe East? Yes, it is. Right, okay. Look how efficient everything is in comparison to how it used to be. This is ace. Oh, that's just made us 33 million. I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with that, you know. Just a smidge. Right, okay. We're, uh, we're getting distracted from the task in hand, which is finding an electric multiple unit. That would be diesel. Should we shove something... Uh, oh, hang on. What have we got here? So we could, we could use a Docklands train. Uh, 373. Oh, yeah, I've forgotten about them. I don't think a 373 will fit. You know, I just have this hunch. Right, what about Scottish? I mean, uh, that would fit. How how long are you? How Let's uh, let's pop you in there. So you are 61 metres long. I think the station's only 80 metres long, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. It's not a long one, is it? Let's have a look. Uh, bu 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 80 meters yeah so the station's 80 meters long so I don't think we'll fit a four car will we we could fit a uh, a northern 323 how long are you you're 70 meters well that's perfect isn't it right 323 it is uh, Fairpont Faircombe shuttle Oh, look at that. Flying in ears. 
Oh, you can hear the compressor going. Uh, the 323 is not particularly my favourite model. I like the 323 in real life, but compared to the... I don't think it's as high detail, this model. Uh, which is why you will have seen I haven't used it in as many of my builds. Um, I also find it's very difficult for them to get that sound to sound correct. Um, you know, I mean, the 323 is notoriously a very difficult sound to, uh, to replicate. I guess it's better than no 323, and to be fair, it's fast, it's the longest train we can have, and it fits the most people. It fits more than the, uh, the Class 320. Oh, we're having to wait for the freight train. I guess this is empty stock, isn't it? So uh, we'll have to wait for absolutely everything being empty stock. Oh, look at that, sneaking out of the, uh, out of the station. British Steel. Brilliant. British Steel, that's what we've got going on here. Right, come on. Let's see your shift. Is that this train? It sounds like a bus. It sounds like a diesel engine bus. Ah, oh, well, we'll give it its dues. It uh, it's hopping up and down like the sounds do on the uh, on the three two three. What's this coming through? The Tampal Machines train. Oh, that's that new one. Train. Na oh no, that's train ninety six. Oh, this is good, because the 323 can do, what, 90 miles an hour? So it'll be able to handle all of our, uh, this brilliant section of track here, quite hilly. Doesn't seem to be handling it, though. Ah, but obviously it won't have to be on this section, will it, normally? Now that sounds good, the high-speed noise that we've got going on here. Oh, the, uh, yeah, the sounds are a little bit odd, aren't they? They're a little bit odd, but hey-ho. Right, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll stay on this train, looking at our beautiful line, right the way down to Fairpont, and then we'll put in some connecting services, because obviously uh, it's not going to be a particularly busy line if nobody can get to the station, is it? This is an absolutely beautiful line, isn't it? What I might do is get a nice little... Uh, get a nice little shot... Although, to be fair, now you can't see the river. Flipping heck. There we go. Nice bit of river. Get another one. Oh, hang on. We're about to get hit by a train, I imagine, coming the other way. Oh, no. It's a bus going past. We'll have a... Yeah, so that we've got a bit of river. Beautiful stuff. Right, let's hop back on that train. We're doing 60 miles an hour. So, you know, that's a fairly... That's a fairly decent speed, isn't it? I imagine that the, the passenger train will be able to keep up with all the freight. How fast can this bus go, though? That is a question. Uh, it's doing 54, so the train is actually not that much quicker than the bus. It's a bit of a worry. We want the train to be quicker than the bus, so we might have to just... Uh, have a little look at how fast our, uh, our track is around here. Let's have a look. What have we got? We've got... Uh, we could do 80. Oh, do you know what? We'll, we'll go up to 90. No, I don't think that we... There we go. We'll just go from there. Right the way through, please. Yeah, lovely. Just there. I mean, that'll do, won't it? Can we get 90 the whole way? We actually can get to 90 the whole way. That's good. I mean, it'll probably just end up sitting behind freight trains because the passenger train is a minority down this line, isn't it? I'm quite pleased, though, that we've got some passenger trains down this line because, again, it's, it's just nice to mix things up a little bit, isn't it? 
And of course, don't forget the bus has to stop for the uh, the fantastic train to go whizzing over. I was going to say, ah, there's no wires, but there are wires there. It's just because of the level crossing where there would be a stanchion. It's been uh, it's been taken out. Look at that, that is very nice. That is a nice shot. Oh, hang on, we appear to be... We're in the land. Oh, the driver's nodded off, heck. Oh, we're slowing down for our terminus station here, that's good. I like having this realistic braking mod on it. Uh, it just makes everything look better, doesn't it? Right, are you going to fit in this station? Of course you are. Oh, it's a per it was built for this train, wasn't it, really? Oh, there's a 156 going across that viaduct over there. Heck, why does it sound like a 377? Ah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, they have just literally used the sounds off the 377 there. Hmm. Okay, fair dues. Well, we need some sort of transport going in. We need a rapid transport from uh, from Fairpont right the way down to uh, Fairpont Riverside. That's what we call it, isn't it? So, I think we're going to use a tram. We don't often use trams on here. In fact, I can't think, have we used trams at all? I don't know if we have. Right, let's, uh, let's go around there. Keep you flat. I don't know if that'll work. Do you know what? We'll uh, we'll just pop a random, uh, oh, a, not a random, a regular street in. We might need to do a bit of terraforming here. Out to sea. There we go. Well, not out to sea, but you know what I mean. That'll do. Brush size and strength. There we go. Just smooth it all out. So we've got. There we go. We've got a little bit more space to play with, haven't we? So we'll uh, we'll, we'll pop you in. Can we keep you flat? There we go. And we'll pop you there. And then I think what we'll do is we'll have a, a new tramp track. Bring you to there. We appear to be lacking in track. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, we've just made a dirt path. Um, right, hang on. Uh, tram track, yes. Change it. There we go, we've got some tram track. That's good. What are you... Oh, no, you're actually just going to change everything into track. I don't want that. I want the... Uh, there we go. New tram track. Catenary. Yeah, lovely. Brilliant stuff. Now... How are we going to get you... I reckon if we just fly straight through the centre of town. And then we'll just whiz up to there. That's brilliant, right. Uh, streets, tram track. Yep, tram track with fences. We'll just go for the 37 mile an hour, won't we? Because then it's quick. So if we just bring you straight up there, that's much quicker. You can absolutely get the hammer down. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know where these stanchions are from for the catenary. Pop you there, but I think we'll we'll pop the fences down, because I don't know what the fences are, but you can only do 25 mile an hour across that, but that'll do. Right, buildings. We will have a tram stop. Sensible place for them. Uh, what about... What about here? That's a good place, right in the city centre, in the financial district. One here as well. And uh, I don't think we need one up to the station, do we? That's, that's excellent, excellent indeed. Right, we need a depot. I'm quite excited for using trams, you know. We've, we don't use enough trams on this, do we? Maybe we'll have, like, a more European save next time where we can just flood the place with trams. Right, hang on. So we're going to have... You there. And of course, trams are a very environmentally friendly way of getting around, aren't they, with them being electric? Not belching out diesel fumes, unlike our Dennis Darts. Right, there we go. So you will be the Fairpont City Tram. 
Right, what trams can we actually have? So we can have the Skoda. Oh, like in Prague. Oh, I like that. We could have trolleybuses. Well, we could have trolleybuses, but the... Oh, Tatras. No, we'll, we'll use the Prague trams. Uh, pra, let's go to 15T. Yeah, that'll do. Should we have four of you? How many can you carry? 120 people. Maybe we'll just have two of you. I don't imagine we're going to have that many people. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love Prague trams. Really, really love Prague trams. Oh, where are we going? Oh, you're off to Fairpont South. It's nice that, like, this is a tram that you can see can handle these tight curves really, really easily. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And it looks like it'll actually stop on the corner, because before, when it stopped, it used to straighten out, which was really, really irritating. I mean, it makes a right racket, doesn't it, these trams? Well, it's a fast and efficient way to get about, that's what I can tell you. Uh, I'm fast. You're only doing 12 mile an hour, come on man, get the hammer down, I don't care if there's someone in front of you. What's that? Oh, it's that thing. Oh, it's full, heck. How many, uh, oh dear, yeah, there's quite a few waiting. And you're the Penstoke to Abel Hannafin Regional, aren't you? Next stop, Abel Hannafin. Is that the next and final stop? Oh yeah, it goes round to the right, doesn't it? I, I completely got lost as to where we were. Oh well, you only left uh, a few people behind, didn't you? God, you get a frequent service down this line. Oh, trams here. Lovely. I'm hoping it'll, uh, it won't do that annoying thing where it goes straight in the... No, it hasn't. That's ace. Right, well, maybe we can use trams at these uh, these stations again now. I've been put off using them. Heck. Oh, that's a, that's a bit of a tight bend. I don't know if they go around corners that tight in real life. 18 out of 120. Yeah, you could fit a damn sight more in, couldn't you? Uh, I think you've lost a bit of your hedge there. The tram's just absolutely taking it out. That is flying down into town. Much quicker than the bus. Much, much quicker than taking the bus, isn't it? We could actually have, uh, you know, like on the big cities up at the top, we could maybe do with changing everything to trams. Just for the sheer uh, amount of people we can move on them. You can't, you can't move this many people on buses. There's, you know, there's, there's no point in beating about the bush with that. You just can't. Right, that's brilliant. So, that is uh, that has got an area connected here, but I might also, while we're, while we're going round in trams... Um, I don't know if I want to put trams everywhere, because, I mean, it's not a very British thing, is it? Trams everywhere. I do like the fact that they're nice and nippy to get from one side to the other. That's ace. What we'll do is we'll come up to Faircomb. Now, uh, have we got... We have got a bus station, a bus stop there that will link up with that. So actually, I don't think we've got a problem there, to be honest with you. It'd be nice to have a little station here, wouldn't it? Like, just a little stop that people could hop on at. Where are you going? You're going down to the front, aren't you? This, uh, this road here. Oh, hang on, get rid of the tram tracks yet. Yeah. Can we get some houses, like, maybe down here? Just, we're backing onto the railway line, I think that would be quite nice. I mean, you might not if you lived in the house, but, uh... There we go, pop you there, we can have some nice houses down the front, up the side. That looks lovely. I'm hoping that this, um, that, that, uh, Faircoom will eventually expand over the other side. That sounds like a, a, a voyager. Sailing through, look at that. Now, it was um, pointed out to me 
that I've still not got a Pendolino. People were asking, Pendolino, come on, put some Pendolinos on the Transmat Regional. And do you know what? I think that it is time to put Pendolinos on the Transmat Regional. I've tested to see if it works, and do you know what? It works really, really well. So, <laughs> I will give in to your demands, and I shall put a Pendolino. Just the one, just the one, mind you, because the Voyagers are doing a great job, and if you look, um, hang on, what have they got? They've got stripy doors. We'll use stripy door pendolinos then. Uh, if you look, um, hang on, get rid of that. The pendolino uh, 390 slash zero can actually carry 170. Whereas if we pop into the Voyager, a five car Voyager that we're currently using at the moment, uh, Super Voyager, can carry 262. So, you know, it doesn't make any sense because some of these are rammed as it is. It doesn't make any sense to replace everything, but for pure aesthetical purposes, we shall use a pendolino, a single pendolino. So, uh, yep, you've broken me down. How long has it taken? Uh, pendolino. Now, um, obviously, the more eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed. Hang on, Joe, you've not electrified yet. You can't set the pendolino off until you've electrified. But I've thought of everything. We're going to shove a diesel loco on the end. What could we stick on the end? You can do 100. You can do 125, right, there we go. Uh, we'll, we'll pop a Wrexham and Shropshire 67 on the back. Now, isn't that nice? Uh, yeah, beautiful. Right, how long are you? 250 metres, I think you're too long. <laughs> I, I imagine that when you said put a pendolino or put pendolinos on, that's not what you had in mind. But, do you know what? I'm determined not to electrify. Oh, look at that, beautiful. It's off. It looks a bit green. Oh. Yeah, we could really do with uh, with replacing that, couldn't we? Let's have a look at uh, replacing that with a bit of northern. Heck. Uh, right, diesel multiple units. 156. Northern. And can we have a 150 stroke one? Of course we can. That's up at the top, isn't it? 150 stroke one. Northern. Oh, Voyagers there. Oh, there's two Voyagers. Heck, there's, uh, yeah, that's a lot of Voyagers. The only problem that we have with this, which will probably upset some people, is the Pendolino has its pantograph up. It's really loud here with these Voyagers. Yeah, the, uh, the Pendolino has its pan up, unfortunately. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Let's have a look. Can we, can we have one with the pan down? I don't know if they. I don't know if they, they did that. And still, business is great. Yeah, they don't appear to have one uh, a version available to us with the pan down. So, uh, I'm, I'm still rather than electrifying. I'm not giving up with this whole. Uh, we don't need it electric. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, it's only like what they used to do on the uh, the North Wales coast, isn't it? They used to attach some sort of locomotive to the end of it, probably a 67, actually, and uh, and just drag the thing down. What is not to love about that? Look at that. I don't think it's going to be able to get out again. It's too long. Yep, yeah, it's off the platform here. That's not going to work. Oh, flippy deck. Yeah, when that changes ends, it's going to break everything, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, brilliant. Right, so yeah, of course it can go across and in. That is genius. Absolutely genius. Right, okay. So it doesn't break everything. Oh, it's nippy. I can't help but feeling that the Pendolino was powering as well. <laughs> Surely the 67 can't pull a Pendolino that quick. I don't know whether they ever wore the, uh, the Wrexham and Shropshire liveries. The fact that it can do 125 means that we're not going to miss out. Uh, in terms of the Voyagers, we will be able to keep up with the Voyagers, which is good. First class is, of course, next to the loco. Which end is the first class on the Voyagers? 
Oh, the first class is at this end as well. We've managed to put the uh, we've managed to put it at the correct end, unintentionally, completely unintentionally. But it is at the correct end. Fifty mile an hour already. Look at that. Doesn't it look great? It's going to look great snaking through. And the fact that there's only one of them, it means it's going to be an exciting event when we manage to actually see one. Why have you got no headlights on the front? We've got headlights on the back. I mean, look at that. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, you're going to slow us down now. Flipping class 20. Hashtag save the class 20. Let's position ourselves in, uh, in a great place. Yeah, I, th I don't think that these can accelerate as fast as the Voyager. I reckon that this is going to end up stuck behind I, I reckon we're going to have the Pendolino with, with a load of Voyagers just stuck behind it I have a horrible feeling come on let's get up to a bit of speed nice bit of speed for the, uh, for the camera Oh, there's another uh, another 66, a stowabout one over there. There's a lot to see now, isn't there? Oh, we're up at 80, that's ace. Look at that, give us a toot as you could pass with no headlights on. Pretty sure that's not allowed. Just ignore the fact that pantograph's up. We'll pretend we didn't see it. I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter because there's wires here, isn't there? Ace. Oh, I imagine there's so many of you that are annoyed right now, but do you know what? It looks good. You can't deny that is good. Heck, sounds like a lawnmower. That's better. And you can't say that it's uh, it's lagging. Look, it's nearly doing 110. I mean, it's going to have to slow down shortly. Where's that Voyager behind it? Uh, you see, he's hot on his heels. I don't know if this will be a sustainable uh, a sustainable project or if it's just going to be a vanity project. I don't know. I mean, all the spotters will be out. These people don't actually want to catch a train, you know. They're literally here just to see the locomotive arrive. Oh no, don't pull. Oh no, is that going to be hanging off? Oh, it's alright, it's only the crew door. I mean, that shouldn't open anyway. Ah, oh, so it fits on all the stations then. Oh, it's brilliant. I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with that, you know. I'm so happy it worked. Really, really happy it worked. And the Voyager's going to come flying in on the opposite platform, isn't it? No, they're all running over. There's a platform alteration. There's a very frequent Transmap regional service, isn't there? There's <laughs> Voyagers coming in on this side now. Yeah, they're, they're not, awfully, uh, not awfully busy, are they? Hey, dear me. Right, well, that is where we are going to leave it for today. I think we've made some excellent progress. We've got uh, we've got new passenger trains running on our little uh, shuttle line, and of course, we've got those fantastic trams down at Fairpont, which are really going to uh, they're really going to help. The problem that I think we're going to have now is that those regional services at the top station are uh, they're already very very busy, and I do just worry that they're going to become a little bit too busy uh, and we're going to need more trains on. The problem is is that we haven't got enough track for more trains so then we'll need bigger trains uh, I don't like bigger trains, that means we're going to have to start doubling multiple units up help. Yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video please do make sure that you click that like button, it's always appreciated and if you haven't already please do click the subscribe button because there's plenty more to do on this and uh, I mean I imagine there'll be plenty of people that will have unsubscribed at this 
monstrosity. Ooh, let's see it coming over the bridge. Look at that. Oh, hang on. A bit low. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, I imagine a few people have uh, rage quit, so to speak. They've unsubscribed in sheer anger. But you can't deny, except for the fact that pantograph's up, it does look pretty decent being pulled by a locomotive. And it can keep up. It's doing 100. It's all that you get a Voyager to. And rest. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.